But we start tonight in Bloomington. Number seven, Purdue, winless at Assembly Hall since the days of Knight and Katie. Tom Crean, meanwhile, facing his in-state rival for the first time ever at home. Verdell Jones also doing the same and making up for lost time. Tied at 26, Jones slashing, scoring, add the foul. Hoosiers up by a deuce. Now a six-point Indiana lead. Tom Pritchard, six of seven, 13 points in the first half alone, and suddenly Indiana's up by eight. Still an eight-point game. Each one more was most of Purdue's offense in the first frame. He had 10 before recess. Boilers down by five. Final ticks of the first half. Great look from Jones to Pritchard. IU shoots 52% in the first half. They lead it by four at the break. Early second half, here come the Boilers. Lewis Jackson the drive. Dish to Juwan Johnson who corrals the loose ball and finishes. Johnson would end up with 21 and nine. Purdue by six after the made freebie. Now a five point lead. Devin Dumas, it's English for instant offense. Hoosiers within two. Now tied at 66 in transition. How about the little fella pulling up? Jordan Holes and Indiana has a lead with under six to play. They lead at 69-66, but Purdue would respond in a big way. With a 9-0 run, Robbie Hummel the catalyst. Three of his 21. Boilermakers up by four. Last chance for the Hoosiers. Down three. Virgil Jones going to get a pretty good look here. Just goes begging, and the Boilers hold on to win it by the final of 78 to 75. Another heartbreaking loss for Tom Crean and company as Crean falls to 0 and 10 against ranked teams during his Indiana career. First win for Purdue in Bloomington since way back in 1999, snapping a streak of eight straight road losses to Indiana. The Boilermakers, meanwhile, have now won 17 straight when scoring at least 70 points. Look now at the updated Big Ten men's basketball standings. And yes, Michigan State still on top, but what a log jam in second place. Now a four-team tie. Ohio State, Wisconsin, Purdue, and Illinois all at seven and three in the league after this loss. Indiana falls to three and six in the Big Ten, nine and 12 overall.